in focus. I'm Vivian Kofsinger Birchall, your host, and my special guest is Mr. John Manjurati, the town manager for the town of Acton. Hi. Hi. Welcome. How's it going? Ah, good. And you? Remember last year? <laughs> With the green beans, of yeah. course, of course. And I couldn't wait to get you back uh, yeah. for our annual end of year. I think it's going to be uh, annual sure. end of year sure. special with uh, the town manager. So what are we having today? What are we making? Well, last year we just did a side dish. Uh, this year we're going to do everything. Okay. Uh, we're going to have, and I wanted to do something very simple, but uh, your expectations were, were a little greater than mine. So I, we're going to do surf and turf. <laughs> surf and turf with a little... Um, Broccoli, uh, baby broccoli. Okay. So in this case, we're going to have a little steak with some shrimp. Okay. Uh, what are we going to do first? So uh, one of my favorite things to do is to have pickled onions okay. on with everything, but they taste good with steak too. So the first thing we'll do is to uh, pickle them because the longer you can get them in the, the brine, the better off uh, you'll be. Is this something you do often? Uh, I, yeah, I do. I think uh, pickled onions go well with everything. Everything from tacos to steak to anything you want to have for dinner or lunch. Pickled onions will make it better. A sandwich. Okay. So. Uh, I remember last year it was everything goes well with butter. So this We have butter. We have plenty of butter. Don't <laughs> worry. The butter is, it's true. Everything does go better with butter. Okay. So fast chopping them? Um, sure. Yeah. The, the thinner they are, the, uh the faster they'll pickle, which is what we want. We want them to turn. So they'll go from this nice purplish white color to a hot pink color. Okay. And they'll taste delicious. Just watch your fingers. Actually, can you, um, can you turn that one of the, this big pot on, please, so we can get that going with the, Oops. you pickle them in vinegar. And for today, what we have is red wine vinegar. How much heat? Uh, I don't know. Lay it on there. <laughs> <laughs> do, it, do it all and then we can always turn it down. Okay. So if you could put uh, maybe half of this red, that's, um, that's red wine, wait what is it? <laughs> Apple cinnamon vinegar. It's, uh, it's got a nice taste to it and it'll pickle these onions right up. So how much should I put in? More than that and actually that's on too high. This thing heats up fast. See, if you use induction cooking like we do here at the Acton TV studio, you can have high performance uh, cookery. Absolutely. So let me know when to stop. That's good. All right. And then, um, so let's add a little sweetness to that with some honey, please. Okay. How much honey? Uh, just a couple, you know, a teaspoon or something. All a right. squirt, a couple squirts. I'm just going to measure with my eyes. That might be one and two. Oops. <laughs> it might That's get good. too sweet. All right. And then, um, Maybe a little allspice. More, actually, a little bit more vinegar and a little bit of allspice. Just a couple shakes of that allspice. So, a little bit more vinegar yep. like this. Yep, perfect. Yep. All right. How much of the allspice? Just, the Just a couple you know, shakes. One, two. All right. And then, do we have any whole peppercorns we can put in there? Um. I if don't not, think just so. a little bit of pepper then. Shake some, some pepper, please. All right. This is making me cry. <laughs> I was just about to say. <laughs> I'm, getting emotion I'm getting emotional over here. <laughs> All right. All right, is that heated oh. up? Oh, wow, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot of allspice. <laughs> All right, that's good. All right, let's get the heat back up. And right. um, once that gets into a nice... Once it gets hot, we can add the onions and turn it off. So once that gets to a boil, we'll throw the onions in there and then turn the heat off and then it'll just sit there the rest of the time that we're here okay. until we need it at the end. So could we stir that up? Do we have a, uh, a spoon yep. or something? I guess we need more vinegar. This is a big, a big pot. I didn't realize how big it was. Okay. Okay. So that's pickled onions. That's easy, right? Right. And that's the last thing we'll, so it's the first thing we're making, it's the last thing we'll use. Huh, okay. So how long should we let them sit in this hole? So ideally you let them sit overnight. Oh. They taste even better. If the longer they're in the 
the juice, the better they taste, but we don't have overnight, so we're just gonna go as long as we can. Um, okay. Like 30 minutes. <laughs> let's, uh, let's turn that heat off. Off? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, throw the rest of these in there. Get them fully covered, please. And... Uh, covered? Well, no, cover, like make sure the onions oh. get, get in the stuff entirely. Couple little stragglers here. And then we're on to the mushrooms. All right. So, these are just regular white mushrooms that you get at the store. Um, you usually need to, they come with a little dirt on them, so you want to get the dirt off. Some people put them in the sink, but that gets them kind of squishy and, and wiggly, so I like to just clean them with a towel. So what are you going to do with the mushrooms? So we're going to take the stems out and uh, make them stuffed mushrooms. Awesome. Have you ever had stuffed mushrooms? Uh, I think I have, but uh, in a party setting. So, but I'm, I'm all, I've always been curious how they are made. So this is, this is great. Okay, and the oven we already put on, right, at 350 or 375. 375. Okay, that should be good. So we just got to take these things out, oh. and uh, actually, do you want to help? You? So we take them yep. out and make make a little, make a little cave for the stuffing to go in later. And, we, and we, then we'll need to use the stems, so don't throw them away. Okay. Oh, that one's no good. So yeah, we want to just pull the stems out, and then we're going to set set the uh, caps aside for later. So because we're, we're going to stuff them in a minute. So do you make this a lot? Uh, I used to. Okay. Uh, it's a it's a good it's a good thing to bring if you're going somewhere and you want to bring something quick. Right. Um, all right, so there's a couple mushrooms for us. We're going to need a sheet pan um, to cook them in, if we have one. That should do. So what we need to do now is um, turn on... So we first we chop these things up okay. fine. Make them fine, as small as you can get them. All right. Are you gonna stuff the mushrooms with this? Yeah, so you actually, you take the caps out, or you take the stems out rather, and then you uh, dress them up a little bit with breadcrumbs and of course butter, and then you put <laughs> them back in. All right. But so do you fast cook them? Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna put them in that pan with some breadcrumbs and some other things. Awesome. And get them into a nice little consistency that will go back in. Uh, at what age did you start using a knife? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Probably when I was, I was a Cub Scout, so All right. whenever that is. Um, 20 years ago, 40 years ago? Yeah. All right. 35, 35 years ago, 30 years ago. Finally. Oh, you know what we need? Uh-huh. Garlic. Okay. Um, How, so we do need you have to chop it up in... Uh, so, yeah, we got to... We got to get it as small as we can. Everything's good with garlic too, right? It's butter, butter and garlic. Butter and garlic. That's and all you really need is butter and, and garlic. And pickled onions. Pickled onions, yeah. <laughs> uh, probably uh, we only have a couple mushrooms, so a little, just a little bit of garlic will do the trick. Okay. So is it to taste? Yeah, just to make it taste like something. You want it to taste like something. <laughs> Right? Mushrooms have a, an okay taste, but garlic is... So I like to um, smash them a little bit. Right. So what type of mushrooms are these if somebody's just looking to buy mushrooms? What um, should they look for? Really, it's really the... I think they're called um, baby portobellos or something. I don't know what... But any kind of mushroom, it just they have to look like that. Uh, and um, cooked relatively quickly. And have to come with caps. I mean, uh, stems, so that you can use the stems in the, the stuffing. In the stuffing, yeah. So what we're going to do is actually turn that pan on, that little one, yeah. please, and um, start off with a little bit of uh, butter. How's that look? Is that a little bit? A uh, little bit less? 
Uh, you're the chef, sir. <laughs> we'll start with a little bit less, but we'll come back for more. <laughs> of course. So we're going to throw that in there. Then and we're going to take... Do we need something to mix? Uh, yeah, a spoon. We could probably use, reuse that spoon. Okay. Oh, you know, we don't need to dirty too many things. That's so thoughtful of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's do the... Um, that is too much butter, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so All right, should I funny. turn it low? Because yeah, it's so too high. No, let's... Yeah, so we'll get the garlic in there first. Okay. If you can make that buttery. And um, let's put a little mm, crushed red good. some crushed red pepper in there is always good. Give it some spice. Do you eat a lot of spice? Sure, yeah. Spicy food is good food. Mm -hmm. And then um, some salt. You can never go wrong with a little bit of salt. This is sea salt, but any salt will do. Okay. All right, so that's... Once the, once the garlic gets a little bit soft, which is starting to burn. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Right. Uh -oh. That's why uh -oh. I was asking That's all right. We're okay. we got time. <laughs> all right. I turned it down. Yep, that's fine. And uh, this, this is high-performance uh, stove here. So we'll throw the mushrooms in, get them cooking right away. Butter them? Yep. All right. And more butter. And we can add some breadcrumbs too. You think you're ready for the breadcrumbs? Um, not quite. Not quite. Um, let's get some breadcrumbs in there. All right. <clears throat> Whoa, that's quite a, a lot of uh, breadcrumbs. How do you measure how much to put in? Uh, just by the way it looks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so this looks like it needs a little more red pepper. You like things spicy. Yes. I love spice. So. And what happened to that pepper, the regular pepper? Oh, here it is. It's not crushed, though. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we got some whole peppercorns in there. That's good. <laughs> so um, what has been going on in the town this year? We've been doing a lot of exciting things. Uh, if you've driven through the center uh, where 111 and Route 27 meet, you'll see we started the Kelly's Corner Project, which has been a big, big project that's been worked on for decades. And so we're very excited that we started construction. And it's going to be two or three years of construction, but we hope that they'll do a really good job of making it so people don't, aren't impacted too much by the traffic. And when it's done, it's going to transform that area of Acton. Um, in what ways? Well, it's just, you know, a lot of people think of it as a place that you just drive through every day to get somewhere. And I think once it's done, it'll be a place that people really drive to and they want to go to. And they'll be able to walk around carefully, safely. Uh, it'll be easy to navigate. There'll be a new traffic light where the CVS is, which is always a problem for people. There'll be a new traffic light where the school driveway comes out, Charter Road. Mm -hmm. So it's just going to enhance the safety for everybody, in a, and it's going to be beautiful. There's going to be new trees, uh, park benches, nice street lights. It's going to really feel like a special place. Right. And uh, it's good that you mentioned safety because that has been a concern in the community for the past few months. So in road safety, that is. Uh, yes. Um, we have had some very um, unfortunate tragedies in, in Acton on Great Road in particular. And we have been working very hard to try to find ways to make that road safer, working with our partners at the state to make some short-term and, and long-term improvements. And we're encouraging people to slow down. Um, you know, when you're driving out there, you got to slow down. you got to drive the speed limit. Um, it, Great Road is a speed limit of 40. I think that's a little bit too high. Um, but uh, until we can get that changed, that's when we're going to make sure people stay at least stay that, that slow. Right. So I, how do we know that this is ready? Um, what are we looking out for? I think it just needs to be mixed together and you know you got me a little bit worried that there's not enough butter in there. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you looking. I saw you looking in there that you thought there wasn't enough butter. 
because it the, you want it to be able to pack in. Pat, you're going to pack it in there, and, okay. and it's going to stay in there. And then we're going to get started with the rest of the food that we're making. Should so. we heat it up a little more? Sure. All right. So what else is going on at the town? Well, we just are in the final stages of preparing the town manager's recommended budget. Uh, it's going to be presented on December 19th, and that will lay out the proposed pl w plans for investing in operations for the coming year. We just, on the no, uh, December 5th, we presented the capital plan, which is all the ten, the 10 years worth of capital investments that we want to make, and that will be finalized and included in the budget as well. And we have some very exciting things. We're trying to combat climate change. Uh, we have $4 million worth of investments being put into uh, climate uh, readiness or electrification or other projects related to our sustainability efforts. So, And where can people find all this information? Well, we just published the Municipal uh, Monthly recently, and so there's information about that in that in that document or right on the town webpage, actonma.gov. We have all that information there. Um, so we got to stuff these mushrooms maybe with a spoon. Okay, so you're the stuffer. Stuff away. <laughs> all right. So, so take a spoonful and put it in here. You're assuming you're gonna, my accuracy is... You're going to have... It's a hands-on experience. <laughs> so you're going to have to... <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you okay. go. And then, then pack it in. All right. Pack it in. Pack it in. Are you going to score me? Yeah. All right. How am I doing? Good. A little more. You can have it spill over the top. We have plenty of stuffing. Pack it in there. Good. Form it with your finger and throw it on the thing. <laughs> throw it on the thing? Throw it on right here. <laughs> All you right. want to have it um, oh, packed in like got that. It. There you go. Okay. It's okay to have crumbles on the outside. It's extra All flavor. Right. <laughs> so that's so that's easy. So we'll we'll finish uh, stuffing these and then we'll come back on. Okay. All right. So here's the last mushroom. Get that on the thing here, and then we want to put these in the oven for as long as we can. What's the average timing? Um, I don't know. Probably 20 minutes, but okay. Uh, they're gonna come out and look beautiful no matter when we when we're done here. So let's get this out of the way. Okay. Thank I'll you. And what are we doing next? Let's do. Um, okay. We can clean up later. Yeah. I'll, I'll help clean up later. We can we can take <laughs> care of that later. Let's keep cooking here and talking about the town or whatever you want to talk about. All right. So here's the steak we're gonna use. Grass fed, organic. Okay. Just, just for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is steak one of the main foods that uh, families have, at least those that are not vegetarian, for a holiday meal? That's a good question. Uh, it's definitely um, a popular thing to have uh, every once in a while. We, we, we don't have it that often, but we, we do every once in a while at the house, and it tastes even better with a little shrimp and broccoli <laughs> on the side. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what I like to do with the steak is actually... Something my father taught me is to um, take peppercorns like this, and it kind of gets messy, but you want to break them. And you want to go like this, and then take a oh dear. clean knife, and um, you want to crush them. Wow. Like that. And then you actually just try to implant them in the steak. It could probably be a little more broken up, but so you want to just take the steak and smush them on there. Okay. So they get totally stuck in like that. So, so now it looks very peppery and delicious. Mm -hmm. And then of course, um, actually I try not to mess with steak hands, but could you get the salt for me please? So I don't Abs get the salt container dirty. Absolutely. Maybe put some in my hand like that. How much? That's good. Okay. And you want to just, with pepper, you want to put pepper's friend, salt. Just plenty of salt, actually. And maybe some more for the other side. Smells good. Okay, so we're going to um, let that rest or whatever while we work on the broccoli. Well, last year we did, what did we do, green beans? Yes. And we spent a lot of time on that 
This time we're going to do a much quicker version of a greenery. And it's these called, I think they're called broccolini or, or baby broccoli. Okay. And uh, we're just going to get them going in this pan. So, so in the meantime, how long are you keeping the steak out there? Uh, just until we're ready, just until everything else is ready because that, that only takes a couple minutes. All right. And everything else takes longer. So you're going to chop. I'm just going to cut the ends off because the ends are kind of, I don't know, I just always use that. I figure they're, yeah. they cut them off in a farm sometime long time ago and give them a fresh cut before we cook them. And uh, it's good to have a fresh bottom for it. But we need a little oil in the pan. Okay. Should I turn on the heat? Yeah. Please. All right. And uh, actually, why don't we put some garlic in there too? Everything tastes better with butter and butter and garlic, right? There we go. Oops. All right. Uh, for this, I'll just chop the garlic because I kind of want it to stay. If you if you make it too small, it cooks too fast and burns. Uh huh. So if you chop it like this, it tends to stick around a little bit longer without burning. And should the heat be on the high, at the highest or medium? Medium. Okay. Please. There we go. <coughs> should I turn it down? Uh, no, that's good. We'll get the garlic in there. Yeah. Actually, just throw, let's just throw everything in. There we go. So some other interesting things that are going on in Town Hall, uh, we are working to regionalize our public safety communications, our dispatch office. Okay. Um, I like what you did. One, we'll use one spoon the whole time here. That's, we're trying to save the dishwashing. We don't want to spend too much time dishwashing. Okay. Thanks for saving the dishwasher. Uh. This one's not good. How long do you cook this for? Uh, that's going to take a while. Um, what can we add to that to make it cook faster? Let's think. Just a little bit of water. We'll get that. S maybe some steam, a little steam action. OK. That's Once the water boils off, we can add more um, oil or something to, to get the, the flavors going back. All right. All right so next, what are we doing? Uh, so that's going to take a little while. Okay, and what are we looking for? Just want to get the, the broccoli to soften. Oh, okay. And so basically what we'll do is have the water boil off, and uh, once that boils off, the stuff these should be a little bit softer, and then we can get try to get a little bit of a, a char, or at least um, make them easier to eat, you know? Some people like the, the broccoli a little crunchy. Oh, they'll be a little crunchy, yeah. Oh. They'll, they'll still be a little crunchy, but... Okay. Um, we want to get them soft, because... Oh, you want to eat this raw? Sure. I'm sure it's fine, but no, it tastes good raw. But if you want, if you can cook it, it's that much better. You were talking about some other things that are happening at Town Hall. Um, right. So we are working to dis to regionalize our dispatch office with the town of Concord. So right now, we have a full police department. Concord has a full police department and fire departments. And we both also have dispatch offices that, you know, receive 911 calls and tell the public safety folks where to respond to. And we are working on a plan to have a single dispatch office work to provide uh, dispatching to both towns, which will save both towns a little bit of money, but it will also make it easier to coordinate and collaborate on safety issues. And uh, we'll really make it safer for the community by having more resources by doing this, the state really invests a lot in you as a mm -hmm. community, mm -hmm. so it gives us more resources. So we're, we're, we're in the process right now of hiring right. for that director, and we're hoping to get it up and running within a year. How many towns have you worked for? I've worked, oh, for, I've worked in Westford, and I've worked in Andover and okay. Acton. Okay. Well, we're happy to have you here oh, in Acton. Uh, I mean, it's always great to have a town manager who can cook. <laughs> well, it's, the jury's still out on that. We haven't tried anything yet. So we're going to cook the shrimp, but shrimp it cooks faster than anything. So yeah. we're not going to do much to these shrimp. Maybe hit them with a little bit of lemon. Are you going to use a 
you know, put it on a pan with butter? Uh, yes. Okay. So what we'll do is, um, now that we've gotten the water off of them, we'll add some lemon onto it. Okay. And what's the purpose? Is it just Lemons, for the taste? Any seafood you cook, I always add lemon. Why? Just it's a, it's a nice flavor with seafood. I also like it on vegetables. Okay. That's getting, yes. that's getting pretty good. So yes. we could probably lower that maybe. Okay. And, um, Oops. I did the opposite. <laughs> and right. we're getting ready for the next step here, which what will be the steak. What do you need steak. for the shrimp? Uh, we're just going to put that on the pan. Actually, why don't we put a little cumin on this? You like cumin? Mm. So what do we do? We did cumin. Let's do salt. And normally I would do lime. Uh, lime is also really good with shrimp. Okay. But I forgot to get lime uh, today. But I think you used lemon. I think that. Was oh, you know what? We forgot to put Parmesan cheese in the in the, um, in the, <laughs> the stuffing. Mar oh, that makes it so much oh better. Oh my God. Okay. We'll have to do that next time. We're gonna cook the steak. So let's get that pan really hot. Very hot. And we're gonna get this place smoking. Okay. Because <laughs> I like to sear the steak on both sides, and then we're actually going to put it in the oven okay. for a minute uh, to, f to finish it on the inside. All right, you convinced me. We'll put a little oil on the pan. <laughs> wow, that's hot. Ooh, that's hot. That's going to be hot. <laughs> Told ya. All right. All right, we'll I'll put, turn it. No, that's yeah. fine. Oh, okay. We want it hot. Well, the steak's going to sizzle. We want, we want it to sizzle. Oh, dear. All right, let's just get it over with. Okay. What do we need to, a fork? Just gonna get that blackened on one side. Okay. Then we're gonna flip it. And everything tastes better with garlic, is that the concept? Sure. <laughs> Just to All right, let's, can you, I don't know how to lower that. Can you lower that please? Good. It's good and hot on one side. We can get it on the other side now. Okay. Ooh. It's not quite black. No, but we're gonna put it in the oven. And how long do you just now do you keep it on the fat on the stove? Just until it browns? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Butter? Really? <laughs> on stick? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, we can put that in the oven now. All right. Uh, what do we need? For oh, hold on. Let me go. Well, now we got to cook the shrimp. Okay. So can we? What do we need? Can we put these in a plate, maybe? Absolutely. You know what? Leave it. No, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna use the least amount of pans as possible. So we're gonna keep it in the pan. And put the shrimp in there. Yep. <laughs> All right. Very resourceful. So a little bit of oil. Especially when it comes to um, put the shrimp on. Move this out of the way. Yeah, so the thing about being in a, in a busy household is if you can cook using less pans and less pots, yep. it's uh, much better. So we try to do that as, best, as much as we can, too. So what color are these going to turn when they cook? Uh, pink. Right. I'm shrimp literate. <laughs> <laughs> And see, it cooks pretty fast. Yeah. All right, so I like to try to get a little bit brown without burning them. So hopefully that'll happen in so a minute. Is it fair to say that you experiment with foods? Yeah. Yep. I mean, the best thing that I like to do is look at a recipe and then figure out how to make it. And then 
next time you make it, you usually don't have all the ingredients, so you just try to make right. it as close as you can, and you just keep building off of that. Have you ever tried any African recipes? No, I'd love to, though. Well, there's a project for next time. Yeah. I'll challenge you to one of the African dishes, or two. Okay. <laughs> that sounds great. Cool. All right, so we know what we need to do uh -huh. is just get ready to plate this stuff. Oh, right, 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 right. So okay. what, do we, what do we have for plates? Do we have any square plates? Uh, like yes. A square plate would be nice. What is the trick with plating? Is, is it plating? I don't want to mispronounce it, but what is the trick? Uh, well, if you've ever watched Chopped, that show on where they have should, a contest. Should I take this away first? Uh, sure. Part, part of the process of cooking is, is presentation. Mm -hmm. So you want to try to make it look... Sorry. Even if it doesn't taste good, you want to try to make it look good. Right. Uh, and that gives you points on that show. So this stuff, these are ready okay. in there. Actually, I'll keep them this side down so they try to get a little browner. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we turn this off? Because that's done. And the steak, I can tell, is ready. So I'm going to bring okay. that back. Okay. And a lot of times... Um, So sometimes with a steak you want to let it rest. All right, so here you go. What am uh, I doing? I, I don't know. I don't want. I'm not ready for the play yet. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm, I, I got to think for a minute. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing this holiday? We are um, going to a lot of hockey practices and hockey hockey games, <laughs> and then we're going to spend some time with family okay. and uh, try to uh, maybe go down the Cape and visit my in-laws who live down there. Mm -hmm. And it'll be a nice relaxing week. Good for you. We have the week off between, well, I'm going to take most of the week off between uh, Christmas and New Year's. And so we'll have some time to relax because the kids are on school break. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's also my birthday week. Oh, yeah, that was part of my, that's part of why I'm taking the week off. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right, so those aren't turning hot pink, are they? What's going on over here? I don't know. It's still going to be delicious. What are you doing? It's hot. I know. I can do that. You cannot do that. Why, wow, you have a strong hand? <laughs> yeah, I do. Very strong, actually. Okay, so right. I'll get, the, I'll get the, the mushrooms and the steak out of the oven. Start with the mushrooms. So when do you decide to take them out? What what are you looking out for? Uh, we just want the, the breadcrumbs to be brown, and you, they could probably be browner than this, but... Here comes the steak. Did you say steak or steak? Steak. Woo! Hot. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot That's hot. believe you did that. That's hot. we got to put a pot holder on that. There we go. <laughs> Whose idea was that to put that in the oven? <laughs> All right, so let's... Um, You're unbelievable. <laughs> let's get a plate going with the... Broccoli okay. first. So, all right, we'll put a little mushroom on there. Now we'll do the broccoli. Should I bring it closer for you? Thank you. Put this. We'll put the mushrooms on last. Okay. And uh, one of these. Yeah. Look at that. Three of these. I'll give you four. <laughs> four of these. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have that, and Sorry then we're going to look good. So then we want, what else do we want? So it smells good, too. So let's get the steak over here. Ooh, it's juicy. This can be useful. So really. that's going to be a nice sauce. We can, uh, we can deal with that in a minute. Okay. Or we can do that right now. Let's let that steak rest for a second. What do we want to put in the sauce? What's your best guess? Uh, uh, butter. <laughs> good, good work. Okay, what else? Um, garlic. Yeah. Oh, there's already garlic in there. Okay. So just a little bit of butter garlic. And more butter. And if we had a little flour or something, we could make it. You give came it some with some flour. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, can you remind me how to put that on, please? How much heat? 
Yeah, seven and a half. That's perfect. All right, so we'll let that melt a little bit. Okay. And uh, yeah, if we had a little bit of flour, we could throw that in there and give it some consistency. Are we trying to make a gravy? Yeah, like a gravy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Butter and more butter. Uh, what happened to that spoon we've been using? <laughs> Perfect, still good, right? Yep. Is your hand okay? Yeah, thank okay. you. All right, that looks like it's, it's fine. We don't have any flour, so we'll just let that ride okay. next time. <laughs> but that'll still be something nice to put on stuff. All right, so we'll cut the steak. Um, maybe cut it in half. Ooh, that See, looks it's good. red on the inside. That's what you want. And then They're sometimes really people cut it in slices like this. And this is grass-fed. You went for the good one. Yeah, it's a ribeye, I believe, um, which is as good a steak as any, probably. It's got a little more uh, fat in it to make it more flavorful. Hmm. So we'll take that and we'll... Uh... So then let's get some of these, some of the sauce that we just made. Okay. Oh, on the steak. Ah. And then we'll get the shrimps. A couple of these. Thank you. Look at that. Okay. There you have it. There's your there's your lunch. Wow. Happy holidays. We forgot the pickled onions. Oh, we onions. forgot the pickled onions, the best part. <laughs> All right, so where do the pickled onions go? So these didn't get to be as hot pink as I like them, but they, I'm sure they taste good. You just kind of use them as a garnish on the steak and they taste good. Oh, you can taste one, see if they taste. Yep, they taste like something. That's all you, when you're making, when you're cooking, you just want it to taste like something. <laughs> and we did it. Yay! <laughs> I just tasted the mushroom soup. Fantastic. This has taken us about how long to make this? Hour? An hour. So, for an hour, John has made uh, this delicious looking uh, meal. What is the message that you have for our viewers uh, for the holiday and, you know, just as a town manager? Uh, well, I guess I would say a few things. One, I would say, you know, as I mentioned earlier, if you're out there on the streets, be a, be a pace car, drive, drive the speed limit. Everyone behind you will have to drive the speed limit too. And um, be good to your neighbors. Uh, reach out and, and make sure everybody's okay. Uh, if you know people that are alone this type of year, give them a call and see how they're doing. And uh, if you have any questions, call Town Hall. We're always there for you. All right. Do you have free food at Town Hall? <laughs> no food at Town Hall. Uh, sometimes it's candy jars, but I've been trying to stay away from those. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for a good reason. But anyway, yeah, to everyone watching, uh, before we leave, let me first rate his cooking. I'm going to try a mushroom while you're at the same time. All right. Uh, can I just, yeah. No, this is not a, a dining, what are they called? The, the knives you use for no. eating? No. I'm losing my... Surf English. and turf. You want to do a surf and turf bite with the shrimp and the steak. All right. This is too big. Like I told John earlier, I have a good appetite for good food. <laughs> mm. Not too much butter? Not too bad. <laughs> butter is low. <laughs> but you did a fantastic job. No, it's amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, it's the, you're my last guest this uh, for Acton and Focus this year. Okay. I'm and honored. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to end this Acton and Focus year. We on a high note with our town manager. Thank you again for being my guest. Thank you for having me. And, to, and thank you for the food again. And for our viewers, thank you for watching Acton and Focus. We look forward to engaging with you again next year. Happy holidays.
Till next time.